Hi, my name's Matt Elsley. Um, I'm an ecologist and the chief remote pilot at Ecological Australia. So, um, I mean, being a pretty broad ecological consultancy, we can get caught into um, undertake quite a variety of tracking projects. So I've done a fair bit of work um, radio tracking bats, particularly uh, micro bats, uh, and a lot of that's been handheld or static kind of tracking at the moment. The range on the handheld detector is usually, oh, I don't know, it tends to be on average. You know, we maybe get 200 meters out of it. Um, on a, on a good day so it's it's a lot of area to try and cover so if we've got you know a particularly gorgy area or something like that or if um you know an, an area offshore for example it's quite hard to get to those locations and actually undertake the radio tracking um and it can take a lot of time as well um, oftentimes as well we're doing the tracking on dusk at night time in the morning things like that um and it's it's also just a safety risk trying to get to some of those locations as well I think the the big benefit with the um, the wildlife drone system was just having that being above everything. Um, I really think that just increases because you know radio signals can bounce around and stuff as well. Um, and if you're up high, I guess the chance to detect that is is just exponentially increased compared to being down on the ground where um, the landscape can interfere. And um, just the ability to be able to I have identified roost locations that we knew were in the environment be able to go to them and just pop up the drone and fly over to them and get really good coverage of a particular area, particularly when some of those areas would have taken, you know, hours to walk into or um, or just be very, very hard to access and track. Uh, you know, um, we had a sea cave site that we would have had to um, get in a boat in some quite rough, rough waters and, and get out there and along the headland and do some detections, um, which which is risky for one, uh, time consuming and expensive. Whereas if we can just get a drone and fly it across to the headland, it makes it so much easier and it, and it really was. Um, and then some of those sites where we had the massive ridge lines, um, we were just able to get up to a high place that had good vantage, fly the drone um, within line of sight to you know a couple a kilometer or more um, and really get that distance and just survey a really wide area um, all at once.